hello and welcome back um it's been a minute since i've done an updated makeup routine i've been going for like glowy natural model off duty kind of vibes um and i have so much like crap in my makeup bag i honestly should get a new one um this one's from victoria no bag smart i used to have one like victoria's secret um but I need to clean this out because I'm going to be traveling a lot coming up. And I thought we would just focus on products that I actually use. So um, let's just do it. Also, if you hear construction in the back, it's because we have construction going on at our house. So we're just going to have to roll with it. I used to never really prep my skin. Um... So I was like, that's not part of a makeup routine, but I realized how freaking important it is. Like if your skin looks really good and like hydrated, then everything else sits better, looks better, looks more natural, whatever. So I did some of this serum from Lancome. Love this stuff for daytime. And then I've been using the magic cream from, like, magic cream from Charlotte Tilbury quite a bit. I just feel like it feels super refreshing. Um, one of the makeup artists actually used this on me when I was getting my makeup done in Barcelona. And she actually used a brush to apply it and it felt really nice. But this is going to like get us prepped. Okay, I also asked on Instagram like assumptions about me, Q&A. Thought we could kind of chit chat, catch up. Um, so I'll answer some. But first question, um, what's the best wedding advice that I have gotten? best this is the foundation i've been using like everybody else and i either use a brush or a sponge this one's amazon this one's lancome i literally switch it up day to day we'll see which one i grab today but best wedding advice that i've received was honestly from tiffany um she's like the director of operations for all things study um and just a really good friend of mine um but she got married last year and something that somebody had told her that she did she was like Hannah I totally recommend that you do this is like really like working to be present during these big life moments like as you're doing it be like I am getting married right now or like I am at my bachelorette party like I was creating a habit literally to be like like we'd be doing something I would pause and in my head I would like basically like story tell it really quick like wow i'm hannah and this is my bachelorette and i'm getting married it just helps you be present with everything i guess i'm going with a brush today um but i loved that advice i feel like it just makes you really take it in it's so easy to have like imposter syndrome with everything um like going on in my life i feel like um like i, I still can't believe that i'm like literally getting married like I'm still 14 years old in middle school. No, right? No. Um, but I just thought that was a really lovely tip. Okay, before I dive into the next question, I have all of these different concealers in my bag, um, but I like use them for different purposes. Um, so this one is like my touch up concealer. Like if I already have makeup on and I just need to touch it up for some reason, this one's amazing. Um, to like layer it doesn't sink in so I always throw this in my purse or whatever love this and it's also really affordable Maybelline The Kosas one I wanted to love it so much because it's like lighter um, It like lightweight, um, but for some reason I I don't know if it just wasn't compatible with my foundation or what I tried it a lot Not loving this one. So I don't know if I'm gonna pack this one with me, but maybe I just need a like practice with it more um this one has been my go-to for literally years um it's just the shape tape and i like this one day to day a lot of people say it's like really like thick and stuff but for me i don't know it blends out beautifully i really like it it does the trick and then i actually really like this one um the lancome one for kind of like other spots almost like acting as a foundation and like doing like around my nose and contouring my nose i really like this one for that and in photos it looks really good so but today we're gonna go in with this 
I'm gonna go in with the next question. Um, let's see. Do you want Dylan to propose to you again? <clears throat> uh, honestly, I'm not like one of those people where I like care a lot. Um, but I will say like right when we got off the show, I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but right when we got off the show, we definitely had conversations about that. Like I was almost like, do you feel like it was super authentic? Because it was for entertainment, like for television, right? Like for us, it was real, but like, it was obviously like we got engaged like after two weeks and I was like, like, do you kind of feel like you'd want to redo it where it's just for us, like not for anybody else and all of this stuff. And, you know, I even kind of struggled with that a little bit um, where I was like, I mean, do you like me or do you like that I was like, Hannah G from the last season, you know? And I, I mean, I know now, obviously, that like he loves me and I knew that then too, um, but it's hard to not question it. Um, but in terms of a proposal, I don't know if I even hit on that, but in terms of a proposal, um, whatever he wants to do, I wouldn't hate like a little meaningful like thing between us, but I don't need a new ring, I don't need a whole crazy thing. Um, but answer, no, I don't care. But if he wants to, then go for it. I don't know, like do some people really care about that stuff a ton? As long as it's like authentic. And, and maybe, maybe it's just like we had a different path. Like we had a kind of crazy wild path. Like we got engaged on a television show. Um, but it worked. Okay, bronzer. I've been using this. It's Charlotte Tilbury. And yes, this is the same brush that I just used for foundation. I don't think it really makes a huge difference if I'm like, like, especially with the light amount that I'm using. So I'm just going to use this. Keep it up high. And then really focus on these temples. Um, Okay. Next assumption. A lot of these are relationship. I'll try to not answer all relationship ones. Um, but assumption, you guys want to have kids within the next two years. Ooh. Um, I think for both of us, careers are like super important and I don't feel like I've super fulfilled my goals with careers and obviously there's no perfect time to have kids like I've also heard that too like there's no convenient time really um <clears throat> but I know Dylan has been working a lot with his Pfizer stuff and I've been working with my personal stuff and SETI um so I think in the next I think we'll probably start to explore that um, early 30s. I'm 28 now, so 30s near enough, but probably like 33, 30, 32, 33. Obviously, um, you can't really predict all of it either, but that's probably timeline wise what I would like to explore. Um, but I definitely like love talking about like kids with Dylan a lot. Like it's just a fun conversation to have, but do I want them now? I don't know. No, not right now. In a little while. By the way, I just used this pink, um, it's called Pillow Talk Pink Pop Blush. And I'm gonna go in with the brush for this one. I feel like sometimes with the beauty sponge, it like picks up too much of it. And this is already pretty like light. I'll go in with the um, powder also. And I really like the iconic London highlighter. I lost it like a month ago or it got, I mean, you know, I have no clue what happened to it, but I've been missing it. Um, I love these little Charlotte Tilbury ones, but they explode everywhere whenever I travel. I think it's something with like the pressure in the airplane. Like as soon as I open it up, it's like, and I'm like, well, 
how am I supposed to deal with that? Anyways, but these, these are pretty. I just, I do wish the packaging was different, but I do like the iconic London liquid highlight a lot. Very picky with liquid highlight. If I could make a product, I would probably do like a liquid highlight. I just love it so much. Okay. Um, why did you choose Vegas for the batch? I expected Europe or somewhere more low key. That's a very good question. Or, no, it's not an assumption. It's a question. Okay, so for Vegas, I was honestly a little surprised that I chose the Vegas route too. Like, I think if I would have told like two years ago, two years ago version of me um, that I was having a bachelorette in Vegas, she'd be like, what? Like, that is not very you because I am more like chill, low key. And um, honestly, like, a lot of the places I looked at, I actually looked at um, doing Seaside, Florida. I thought that would be really beautiful. Um, I looked at doing the Hamptons. I thought that would be like super chill and vibey. And then where else did I look at? I think I thought about doing um, Malibu for a sec, like a very hot sec. Um, but I landed on Vegas. Um, Honestly, I was just thinking about it one day and I was like, I could always have a chill kind of hangout with my girlfriends. Like, I think that's more my birthday vibe and even like our wedding vibe will feel like that kind of. Um, so I was like, you know what? Like Vegas would be a really cool thing. And then Lori, my manager, um, honestly helped me kind of hook it up. So, um, it was a sponsored full trip, even for all the girls traveling out there. Um, we got free hotel and free dinners and everything at the Venetian and Tao. And it was so, 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 so fun. The My group of girls that came and my one guy that came, we all had the best time, like core memories and like listening to music, dancing to Britney Spears, just had so much fun. And I kind of loved that it was like the Vegas cheese. Like I wanted right before, I was like, I kind of want to own the cheese a little bit. Like if we're going to do bridal in Vegas, like I want to wear veil. I want to be like miss to miss. Like I, like I wanted like little like penises everywhere. Like I was like, if we're gonna do it, we gotta go all out. This is like the one time in my life that we can totally do it. And I absolutely loved it. And it was just so special and so awesome. And um, yeah, so if you're like, you know, going back and forth, I think it just depends kind of what your vibe is. Um, but it was honestly really fun to get my friends, especially out of their element and be like, let's just do Vegas. like. I don't know because we had done beach trips before and stuff like that but vegas was just like so different and so fun and hilarious and everybody became like best friends and we're all still texting in our group message um so that's fabulous also this setting powder is amazing it's um the hourglass veil and or is that the color is veil 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 I guess so. Um, but this is one of those products. This is so random. My like best friend, Dina, she always has this stuff. And I feel like every single time we like switch or take each other's or leave one, it's the same with this hourglass. I think I have her highlighter too. I have like two of these. I have like three of these. Maybe I'm the thief and I'm taking them because she clearly doesn't have mine. Okay, so I take Dina's every time. Is that a thing with like friends? Like I just end up with their makeup. I also came back from Vegas with like random makeup brushes and I was like, hmm, it's like a new look. Like I'm just like using it. Anyways, I don't know. I'm a thief. Sorry. I, I really don't mean to be a thief at all. I'm sure they have some of my stuff and I have no clue. Okay, for eyes, I'm going to use, this is the first, this is disgusting of me. It's definitely so expired. It's so gross. Don't do this. Do not recommend 
Um, but this is the first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought. Ever, ever, ever. High school. It's gross. Um, but she's still, you know, still, I don't know how this color is not gone. I use it every single day for like 15 years, like 10 years, 15. Oh, ew. Anyways, I like this like creamy color. I just can't find any eyeshadow palettes that have this like almost like powder color, but it's just light. Um, I just feel like it looks nice on my lids because I kind of have veiny lids. Um, I don't even think the color works anymore, but I just like to like add a little bit of this. I'm not trying to go for like a super eyeshadowy look day to day. Um, so I'll probably just do some of that, which barely makes a difference. And then I'll go in with this Physicians Formula bronzer that is fully broken and also expired. And pop this in my crease. This eyeshadow look is not important for this day-to-day -day thing. Like literally, it's just like, I could do this entire makeup look in five minutes, but of course I'm, can't shut up. So it ends up being a longer video, but it's the eyeshadow. So what I've been doing lately for my wing is I take this dark brown, it's a dark matte brown at the top and a little tiny angled brush and I will put that kind of as the outline of my wing. I like how it looks, but I also will go in after with um, an actual eyeliner just so it lasts all day. I feel like um, doing it this way, it's really pretty, but it fades really easily. And if I want it to last a little bit longer, then, um, then I go in with an eyeliner after. So we are just gonna shape this out and I just really want it to look like it's being lifted obviously like whoop, instead of like because I feel like it naturally wants to be like down I kind of just want to give her a little lefty I was going through these and so many of them are relationship focused like whenever our wedding's done are y'all even gonna care about what's going on in my life anymore I'm just kidding but I'm not kidding at all also just gonna brush some in my brows, why not? Um, but I did find a question that's not relationship related and thought it would be good to chit chat about. And it says, how do you handle comparing yourself to others and feeling inadequate or not good enough? And I don't have the key to this at all. I think it's like a daily habit that we're all working on. Like not just creators, but I think with social media these days, every single person is kind of dealing with this comparison thing. And what worries me the most is like younger girls, like you get automatic satisfaction if you post on social media and it gets a bunch of likes or like you cannot equal your, equate your value to numbers. And I've had to learn that a lot. Like obviously I'm scrolling and I'm like, wow, I wish I could get that opportunity or like, if only my engagement was bigger, my following, like it, it, this whole numbers game thing is honestly super toxic. Um, but I think what helps me is like turning off the noise, like getting off social media, but not just getting off and being like mindlessly, like whatever, like do things that give you satisfaction and make your core happy. Like go on walks, listen to, music that you really love that brings you back to like that happy space like do something for somebody else that makes them happy like do things that fulfill your core and i think that that for me is how i kind of fix this whole comparison thing is just also just know on social media this is so much of social media is very fake and we all know that but like all these people working with cool brands or going on these trips or whatever like it's it's not all as exciting as you think. I think where you find your, like you win if you find happiness within yourself in your day to day and like your routine and stuff like that. Like it is hard though. I, I, I definitely deal with it, but I think just, I just have to shut the noise off sometimes. I'm like, everybody shut up. Like I just let me focus on me and doing me and like that is the key to all of this and there's a lot of people that look 
like they're so happy on the outside and that they're doing all of these things and hitting all of these goals, but they're missing so much of like what is actually fulfilling in life. And that's something that is achievable by anybody as long as you're creating habits to do that. Does that make sense? I'm working on it also. So I definitely haven't found the key to success, but generally that's what I do. I like bolder brow. Sue me. I love brown eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this. This one's also waterproof. So if your eyes get runny and hopefully it doesn't really move for ya. Um, but brown, I feel like day to day is just really pretty and natural, kind of. Lip liner makes the biggest difference. Like if you focus on it, I used to be like lazy and I was like, whatever. But if you like actually focus and like kind of play with your lip shape that you like, it just makes such a difference. So I'm gonna put this on. Oh, this shade is pillow talk. Okay, I really like this blush. It's Hourglass Ambient Incandescent, Incandescent Electra. This is like one of those that I got forever, like years and years ago, and I never realized its potential until I picked it up randomly one day and I was like, ooh, yep, love. So just add a ton of blush because I'm sure you guys know this, but it comes off like the quickest. Like this is the first thing that fades off of your face. So I just kind of like go ham on it and I think it's pretty. And then do a little bit up here on your temple. Looks like you actually got some sun, a little bit up here. Oh, I did way too much on my nose. Okay. Um, what would you do career wise if not influencing? And I love this question a lot. So I was doing, right before the show, I was a marketing manager um, for a fashion company. And then I had just, within, I think, like I was doing that for a while and then I got a really cool opportunity to be modeling um, every single week for a clothing brand. So I was like, okay, let's try modeling full time. Like the money is pretty good and consistency and love that. So I was doing that and I was modeling and driving all over the place to do any shoot that I could. Um, I was doing some music videos and stuff like that because I was signed in Nashville and Atlanta. So Southern markets, um, but I was booking a lot. I was told no. Um, like I wouldn't, nobody would sign me in um, any of the larger markets, LA, New York, or Miami, but I was shooting in these locations from being booked from my smaller place. But anyways, um, but really, really enjoyed modeling. I think I was a little too short, very like commercial look, but I would have loved to either do something in that realm modeling. I just really enjoyed it. Um, or I think my next natural path was like doing something in marketing photo shoots. Like I had been doing that for years, um, like planning shoots and like companies would reach out and be like, hey, will you shoot our entire collection for us and then send it to us and you know, whatever, like make it winter themed and stuff. So I would shoot that and I was also doing modeling. I was just all over the place. Um, but I would have loved to work for a magazine or something like that. I might've explored moving to New York possibly. I really liked Nashville. I had lived in LA, I lived LA. Um, but I don't really know what I would have done career wise. I really love influencing and stuff. Obviously it's super flexible and I can be really creative and I can be like, this is the brand I want to do or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Something probably in fashion, magazine, anything photo shoot realm. I also always thought about like real estate and um, acting. There was a, there's a whole wide range, so I don't really know, but um, this one fell in my lap, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in with this mascara. I like the wand of it. Kinda helps like give it pressure. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's how I would describe it, but 
whatever. Um, okay, let's see if there's another final question while I'm doing my mascara. <laughs> oh, are you and Dylan gonna see the venue again before your wedding? Um, no, we've only seen it once. So I hope it's as beautiful as the first time we saw it. <laughs> but yeah, no. Mm -mm. Um, is that bad that I've only seen it once? Or is that normal? I don't know. I'm really excited to show you guys where it's at. And even with that, like, I was just thinking about it. Like, what do people do? I know this is so lame to ask, but like in terms of content for your wedding, like, I'm like, do I need to like post like right after the welcome party or do I save it all for after and be in the moment or do I get somebody to post it for me or I don't know. Cause I want to like bring you guys along. Like, I feel like that's so fun, but then I also want to be really present. So, um, I don't really know. I know Sophia Richie like is doing all of this stuff in the moment and like, I don't want to be like pressured to like do content and stuff, but I guess if it feels organic and like natural, I don't know. I think the best plan is probably no plan with something like that. I just need to feel it out. So we will see. So I'm loving these Tower 28 glosses right now. This one's in cashew. Um, but I also really like the dibs one for every day right now. Um, but this is kind of my everyday makeup look. I swear I can do this entire look in four and a half minutes. Um, I just can't stop talking to y'all whenever I'm finally able to get my camera out and charge it. Um, but super glowy, natural, easy. Um, and I hope that you liked this. I hope you liked the Q and A portion. Thanks for asking questions. Whoever asked questions, if you're even watching this, um, but I'm going to go have myself a little coastal grandmother weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully I can get this video up soon and um, make sure to subscribe. Did I already say that? I don't know. Anyways, have a fabulous day and I love you all.